you are listening to itrboxing.com radio with your host lukey what's up y'all it's the dopest show around it's the lukey and pyb show and today <laughs> pyb is your host so i'm gonna kick i'm gonna kick uh what do we have a microphone or a skateboard or what am i kicking over to you to run the show <laughs> You're kicking over good vibes. I totally forgot I was supposed to take over. I didn't write down any questions. I'm so sorry. You just got I didn't come. I didn't come prepared. <laughs> it's a feel like thing. So you just got. You just gotta. You gotta. I'm you giving you the opportunity, it. and now you gotta give me a, a vibe and a notion. Corona's getting. They say tomorrow is the peak of the coronavirus in the U.S. Is it? That's I what it was supposed to be the fifteenth. Well, I'm looking at the University of Washington, and according to their study, according to their guesstimations and calculations, and a lot of people have been kind of going off of their stuff, the U.S. is going to be tomorrow, the peak, April 11th, and California is April 13th. But what I read to, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, you kind of went off, but I'm sorry. Go ahead. So the U.S., you think? Okay. No, I was going to say, it sounds like we're going to get waves of this shit till we have a vaccine. So it's like we're going to we're going to lose it for May, June, July, and then it'll probably be back in August or something. Yeah. That's what it sounds like right now. I feel like we're going to be here for another month. I don't know. I think we should at least for another month, because quite honestly, like not a lot of people have been doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is quarantining. So uh, those people, I feel like, are being in contact with other people, and it's just going to be a whole nother, you know, a whole nother, like, well, like you said, a whole nother wave. That's why I think we should be in for a whole nother month again. Um, I think we should stay quarantined until the end of May. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's a real possibility that can happen. Right. But I'm just saying, like, because most companies are guessing <laughs> June 1st is their comeback. But what I read yeah. today that there's like waves of this. So like this thing comes back, it's like flu. So it's like in the fall, it's going to come back. Right. So Hmm. how do you feel about vaccines? uh, If I, if, if I can go and like live my life, then I'm down. I'm going to say sock it to me. I'm going to go to Kaiser Permanente and say sock it to me. Really? I'm totally against them. Well, I don't, I'm. I don't think anyone should take them. Well, I, I love and care about you, but we might, we might. If I take the vaccine and you don't, I might have to keep six feet distance if we hang out. That's fine with me. <laughs> I might have to do twelve feet and the the hazmat suit. The thing is, is like if it's just like the flu, which I, I don't think it is, but you know, I feel like. When people are getting, like, the flu vaccine, there's going to be a, a high amount of people that are taking the um, the vaccine to where the people, the anti-vaxxers, honestly won't even need to take them. There's going to be that high of – is it, you're pretty much like the test dummy. You guys are going to take it. <laughs> we'll see if it works on you guys. And if it does, cool. But if it doesn't, then it's just, you know, what sucks. That's the risk you got to take. But I'd rather take a risk by not getting the vaccine. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just yeah. I'm against that. I don't think it's natural. I don't think it's right. I don't even think the flu vaccine is right. I've never gotten the flu vaccine. Maybe when I was young and I didn't have a choice, but ever since I was able to make a choice, I've never gotten the flu vaccine. Never got I actually, flu. <laughs> I've never gotten the flu vaccine either, right. but this is some really inconvenient shit. And, like, I don't want to die from this, and I don't want to, like, be laid up for for months from this, and I don't want to give it to someone that it could kill them. So, that's where I'm coming from. But let's get on to the topics at hand, which you're just going to kind of bring in topics, because the official PYB is running the show. I still don't even know what PYB means, because, like, (laughs) I haven't figured it out. You haven't figured it out? Oh, my gosh. I gave you, what was the first quote? The first clue. It's the first episode. You You don't remember. Well, I mean, 
what better way for both of us to remember than to listen to the legendary first episode? That's true. All right, put that that's, on the list. That's like <laughs> the first episode is like when Hulk Hogan teamed with Randy Savage. That's oh what God. that's what this first episode was. Forces and nature coming together, and they're like, "Damn, it's a superpower." That's funny. If you say so. <laughs> Hulk Hogan. So what have you been up to? What was the last time I talked to you? Last Monday? It's been a whole week and a half, right? Yeah, I mean, I've just been living my life. I've been responsible. We've been on this uh, on this real heavy quarantine life. I got my mom. In- yeah. um, you want me to give you a full update on my life? I think the listeners yeah. would be. I, I think, think you were saying something about you trying to do a golf podcast now. That'd be kind of cool, right? No, a, go- a golf vlog. Oh, a a vlog, excuse me. I'm gonna yeah. be a vlog. I'm gonna be a golf vlogger. Let's talk and about I, that. What's I that think about? My, I think I'm gonna make an intro that's gonna be like full house. What so like, <laughs> I'm gonna be like reading the scorecard and then look up and it's gonna say starring Lukey, and then that's I'm gonna funny. be hitting shots and cheesing, and it's gonna be like, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill out my scorecard at the end and go mathematics, and it'll be like five, four, three. Six five. You could have done better, Pete, but still, good job. That was a pretty good round. Oh my god! So that's Why what I'm thinking. Make a TikTok? Which one? Do do a TikTok. I, I'm I'm just like I don't got the I don't got the TikTok swagger yet. Oh my god! Well, you never know unless you actually try it. That that's that you gotta, have a, you gotta have a little bit more youthful. I feel like TikTok's really right now though yeah it's been coming up everyone's just on it right now because they're all bored but it's been around town i feel like i don't know i think you should just go with the waves yeah except for those corona waves i'm trying to avoid those corona waves Uh (laughs) but um i might go for the first time i might take a car trip in a month one hour from my house tomorrow to Stockton to film Gabriel Flores Jr. tomorrow. I may do that because they have a private gym mm-hmm. and it would just be me, Gabe, his father, and his photographer. And I nice. feel like that mm-hmm. isn't that like I feel like that's like we're I don't know how how do you feel about that? I feel like you're a better judge. Is that is that a good decision or is that a bad decision? I mean, if you're sitting here trying to say that you don't want to be around people, you're going to, you know, I got to keep 12 feet different. What's the difference? Like, you haven't gotten the vaccine yet, so you're still making yourself susceptible to it, right? That's a, <laughs> but that wasn't very helpful. That was just like, that was just sassy. That wasn't helpful. It wasn't sassy. It was just making you think. Like, if you're saying that you won't be around me if you get a vaccine, what would be the difference if you're around these other people? I'm just, I was just fucking with you. I I don't give a damn about that. I was just giving you shit. (laughs) You're freaking lying. Oh, my God. You know you're going to be the first person in line for a freaking vaccine. Like, shoot me up, shoot me up. (laughs) Nah, I'll be like, I'll be like, I'll be like a week. I'll like see, I'm going to watch Instagram a little bit. I'm gonna like I'm gonna watch everybody die first, and then we'll see what happens. I'm gonna like I'm gonna give it a cool week, and just like a cool week. Yeah, a cool week, and then I'm gonna watch like how the cops are doing, like people that have to take it, and I'm gonna be looking at them. Okay. It will definitely be interesting times. If it's gonna be a forced thing, like I'll pack my bags and I'll go up to the mountains or something because I'm not dealing with. I'm not dealing with the government. <laughs> like, heck no. You can't force me to do anything. Shoot. Okay. Well, I, this, I don't know. Well, I like how this has gone. So I got completely no life advice on if I should go to Stockton tomorrow to film Gabriel. But um, it's basically when I would. You have to make those decisions for yourself. <laughs> that's right. That, that's, a real, that's a real decision. Um, although I am playing golf next week for my golf vlog. Because I made that decision, that I'm gonna do that. And indoors or outdoors? outdoors? There's four courses open in Sacramento, mm-hmm. or from my house. And the, my mom's gonna film me because you know we got a loving family, and she wants something to do. <laughs> and the reason I want to do it is I can play golf. I 
provide people entertainment through my lovely personality and my enjoyment of golf. And my mom, A, film, so that's doing something, and B, she can go for a walk. So it's like it's it's right. like a lot of different things. We have to take safety precautions. But, like, I do want to do that because it's like since this happened, my mom came to my place. We've been hanging out for a month straight, and all we do is go for walks and go to the supermarket. And I feel like eventually that's really unhealthy. So I think to, like, get a little bit of life would be, like, a good thing for both of us. That's just just me. Yeah. Like, I feel like if we could do it where it's, like, it's just me and her and we're just doing, we're just doing our thing, just cruising through the greens. What? So I gotta run. I gotta run with you. Uh, what? What should my golf vlog be called? Should it be all putts intended or Lukey at the links? Lukey at the what? Lukey at the links because they call it golf links. Oh, I like all puns intended. Yes. Yeah, Nobody else thought of that. You're the first person to think of that. Uh, I actually didn't think of it. My man producer Jay at Brink Media came up with it. But shout out to my homie because. Uh, <laughs> He, I put it on Twitter. He shot it back to me, and uh, I'm gonna run with it. I'm actually gonna look at all yeah. putts intended. Um, it's like no one's come up with that one yet. Yeah, all all putts intended has yeah. not come up. So you think that's pretty player? You better do it now before someone steals the idea. But they're not gonna do it right. So even if they stole it from me, I'm going to just steal it back. I'm going to be like, no, 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 no. You didn't do it right. That's funny. Or steal at least the, you know, the idea of it. Shoot. I think I, think I might mess up. If this goes for one more month, I think I'm either going to become a, a rapper or I'm going to have an OnlyFans page. I haven't decided which one, but, like, I'm, I'm going to go in one of the other directions. I think you should do both. I think it'll be funny. Uh, nah, I can't do both. You gotta put you gotta put all your energy into one. I, I feel like I'd be fucking up. Oh man, I'd funny. feel fucked up though if I had an uh, OnlyFans page and I was only getting thirty dollars a month. I'd feel real washed up. I'd be like, damn, it's quarantine. And I'm... Why not? It's thirty dollars more than before. yeah. But I'd be feeling like, damn, like am I this washed up? That's funny. So that's that's what this quarantine's got me thinking about. And I think if I came into the rap game, there's a big, you know, everyone's rapping about unhealthy stuff. I think I'd come in talking about nutrition, talking about like, uh, like balancing a budget. I'd come in on some different shit because everyone else is doing the same stuff. So I'm just going to do, I'm going to teach people, I'm going to make a song about how to invest in stocks, right? So if I was a rapper, that would be my angle. That would be funny. Yeah. I think Super that funny. I think that album we call <laughs> Financial Freedom. So I want to I want to see you that want, album. I want the first I want the first You want that? You might I mean you yeah. could you put you could possibly if that we Yeah, I mean if if this quarantine keeps up this this is there's a very real possibility I could record a song. Yeah, That's so funny. so what's this quarantine what's this quarantine got you thinking about in life? Um, all my goals, things I'm gonna get done. I've done a lot in my lifetime. <laughs> um, a lot of things that I wanna continue doing, so uh definitely gonna get back in shape and then that's boxing shape, that is. And then possibly be back on set. I used to do um, stunts. <clears throat> so I did, like, some kind of stunts. So I definitely want to get back into that. And then finish. I have, like, a list of books that I want to complete. So I'll finish all these books. I still work, so I'm still working full time. Yeah, you put me in. I texted then, you one day, I, and you put me in time out. I was just like, how's your day going? You said, I'm working. And I said, okay, I'm never hitting you up. I'm never hitting you up you with a mean ass. Like, you, you, I did you said, not. Like a, you said, a don't fuck with me text. And I was like, damn. I'm working. You said something. I'd be working you all day. A, all you day, sent me a day. text that said, I'm working right now. I can't respond or something. And I was like, damn. 
some days it gets like that when it's at work. So, and then other days I can be on Instagram and social media doing my thing. Other days I'm just quiet all day because I got shit to do. I'm not like the rest of y'all folks, all, all y'all quarantine folks that are watching your plants grow. Oh, that's <laughs> the thing. If I become a rapper, that's going to be my gimmick. I'm going to talk about I want to take a girl to a park and then take her to buy a pot of plant. Why? I don't get the potted plant part. Yeah, that, that's just my my angle. Why not get her the seeds? Get her the seeds with the with the soil, and then also the the pie, and then tell her that hey, we can grow this together, or let's watch this grow. That's I feel like that's I feel like that's kind plant. of beautiful. Like you just gave me you just gave me a gem <laughs> right there. You're welcome. That, that's beautiful. That's like watching. I was like right? looking at a Picasso. See, I'm not always. And I can. I can help you. No, I get it. That's why. Me. That's why. Some. <laughs> so, what are you? What's the music you're listening to right now? I think in quarantine life, we're we're getting down to the vibes. <laughs> this is the vibes episode. So. Um, I listen to everything. I literally, I'm like the type of person that listens to everything. Yeah, but what, what are you grooving to this? The count- like, what are you tapping your toes to? I don't tap my toes. That was, that was a figure of speech. <laughs> um, I've been listening. <laughs> oh man, I've been listening to a lot of people want to call this trap music. I guess you can say. So like Ash Nico, Dua Lipa, uh, Danny Lay. Who else? I guess you can call it trap music. Megan The Stallion. <laughs> uh, who else? Um. It's just a bunch of quote unquote trap music. But then I, I just listen to everything for real. What about you? What are you tapping your toes to? I don't know. Like I got a couple of artists. I'm going on a uh, music video deep dives right now. So I'm like exploring YouTube and just looking for cool, cool music videos right now. It's probably G Herbo. I feel like G Herbo. Never G Herbo. Him. I'm enjoying his little movement. And yeah, I don't know. I just feel like the music game, like I, music makes me feel old right now. Like I feel like I need to start. I feel Why? like I need to start getting into jazz and R and B. I feel like I'm the old head at the gym that's just gonna be like kind of buff fat. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to 24 and I'm gonna be like chubby. But lifting hella weights, thinking I'm like good looking, but I'm just like kind of fat. That's how that's how this music's oh got God. me feeling right now. I'm feeling kind of like Ving Rhames in that Mission Impossible. First of all, you work at 24 Hour Fitness. I work. You at work 20, out there? I work. I do not work at 24, but I I work out. You work out. That would be a hell of a statement if I'm like actually I'm a full time employee at 24 Hour Fitness. I work. I actually, I'd res- especially right now in this climate, I would respect that. But um, what were you going to say, ma'am? <laughs> what? No, you- uh, why aren't you working out at a at a boxing gym? Why are you at a twenty four hour fitness? I- they don't even have heavy bags. Doing weights. I like doing boxing workouts. Okay, but a boxing gym. Oh man, I thought you were a boxing fan this whole time. Who am I even talking like, to? I, I like pay two boxing gym memberships. I support boxing gyms, oh, but it's God. like I'm part of the <laughs> clan. God. What are you looking forward to mostly when uh, this whole quarantine thing is over? When it comes to boxing, With bo- oh, like, what do you cannot wait? For? What can you yeah. not wait for? Press, media, fighters. So. I think my Thank number you. one thing I'm looking forward to is uh, watching Teofimo Lopez beat Vasil Lomachenko and becoming a boxing superstar. I think that's probably like. Is that even going to be a fight? Like, is that even yeah, it's hooked happen. up or anything? Or you think it's a it's possibility? Oh, we'll just say sources very close to the situation say that it's going to happen. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm looking for. 
What's the what's the whole Teofima versus Ro- Roly? Is that even like an option? To eat, like two or no? Is that like out of the question? I mean, they're friends. They're friends. Didn't they have a huge issue? I could have sworn there was like a huge issue with Teofima and I Roly. Mean, they're like fifteen years younger than me. I follow everything about them, but I've definitely Uh-oh. been around them, and they they know each other, and they're they're both Roly's a good. A good person, Teofimo and his father are really good people. I mean, they get all for each other. Or maybe, maybe it was Roly versus uh, Brian oh, Garcia. Am I because like Teofimo else? won't spar Ro- <laughs> Roly anymore because, uh, like he said, like he's physical, but they don't. It's Brian Garcia and Roly have an issue because Roly. Mm, okay, maybe. That- it was yeah this, see this is how much i don't pay attention to boxing gossip. you had you had your boy tongue <laughs> twisted you had your boy <laughs> cop it please i know that's my point that's why you can't like ask me names or anything because you'll be like oh who's so and so i'd be like what <laughs> i had no idea i don't remember i knew that see i was kind of online like- though right so it wasn't it, i remember seeing i think it was i was in vegas or something for one of the fights and i was up in the media and i saw uh i think Garcia was either next to Cotto or Oh yeah, you're right. Because Didn't Rolly told that. me that he, he went home from watching TV with his mom, drove to the arena, drove home. Like he went to the arena to punk Ryan, That's but funny. he didn't even go to the fights. That's funny. Uh yeah, I remember that because it was just like a big old thing. I was like, what the heck is going down there? And then you just see Rolly getting in Ryan's face and then everybody, you know, had to break it up or whatever. I was like, what the heck? What I is just this? can't. It was just like some I can't crap. believe Jaime Munguia is still a thing. I went to his media workout when he was being hyped up and I left after mm-hmm. I saw him do some pads. Like, I'm like, I've seen, I've seen enough. Shut up. Why? I don't know. It's just, it, that's not my... What I look at is, like, for... That's not my aesthetic for a fighter. So, like, when I... Yeah. I have a specific style, probably, that I trend towards that I think is really good. And, like, he's he's got world-class power, but there's, like, things about what he does that I don't need to... I feel like I understand what he's doing, and I don't really need to sit there and watch. It's just based on power and timing is, like, a lot of what he does. So... Right. I saw four rounds of that. I filmed him. The kid's really strong. Okay, I get what he is. I don't really have to go out of my way much beyond that. That's just like I remember that. Because people were right. acting like that. I remember I was in there and someone was like, this guy's a superstar. I was thinking, okay, let's see. Let's see. Because I was like, maybe he will be. And I remember just watching. And I was like, uh-oh. He's leaning in with his chin out. His nose was over his toes when he threw a right hand. Right. Well, I mean, that's boxing for you. That's also politics as well, too. I mean, Patrick, T- what's his last name? Pat- Tichera, Patrick Teixeira. Teixeira, still- yeah, he still has yet to fight him. I think He'll that tear would be him a up. great fight. Patrick Teixeira will tear Jaime uh, Mejia up. That's my- He'll tear <laughs> that's him my up. Point. A jab's going to give Jaime Mejia <laughs> so much problems. But like I said, that's boxing politics for you. They're gonna hype one person up and then avoid the other one that they know will destroy his career. So that's why for me, like as much as I love boxing, like when it comes down to professional and stuff, like when I see that crap, I'm like, what's the point? Like that's why I'd rather go to like you know smaller shows. I get it; it's all for money, or whatever. But not everyone's gonna be a superstar. Like it's not always going to last that long. Like you know. Oscar De La Hoya, Muhammad Ali, Money Mayweather. Everyone thinks they're going to be this huge, great <laughs> fighter, and it's not always going to be like That's why I'm that, proud so. to, like, I don't know. the few fighters that I'm starting to get to know. Like, I've known Gabe, Jun- Gabe Flores Jr. for a really long time. So he wins a world title, I'm going to literally cry. When Teofimo Lopez won the world title, yeah. it really meant something to me because I did, his, I did an interview with him on his first fight, and his family has always treated me good. When O. Mm-hmm. Jones wins the gold medal in right. the 2021 Olympics. That's going to mean a lot to me. When Otha Jones wins the world title, that's going to mean a lot to me. 
But, like, a lot of these people, it's just, like, I have no <laughs> form of a relationship with them. And it's, like, their window of being relevant is, what, three years? <clears throat> right. Right. Am I Am I being too harsh or am I giving people too much credit for three years? Um, I don't think you're being harsh. I just think it's just the reality of it. Um, it's like, like I said, I think I said it on the first podcast, like people need to, you know, you need to come down and market yourself. If you're not constantly marketing yourself, you're going to fall off. <laughs> Eventually people aren't going to really even remember who you are. So it's like, it's a hard grind. You got to stay up on it, but does it really last? <laughs> I, I think the know. other thing is, man. We're on this podcast wave. I'm actually super excited when the podcast wave is going to be over because, like, I can't wait to be out in the world. I'm probably going to – the Lukey PYB show is probably going to take a hiatus when the quarantine's lifted because Lukey's probably going to be on the road. PYB is going to be doing her thing. But I feel like a lot of people <laughs> are dropping – but there's a lot of pod because like I, I've basically unsubscribed to most podcasts right now because there's too many podcasts. Yeah. Well, like I said, half the time people want to hear themselves talk. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I only care about certain things for like a certain point And then I just kind of get over it and like, yeah, it is what it is. <clears throat> I just can't. I yeah, literally can't listen to any boxing podcasts. Why? Because the, is it a bias? Most are biased. <laughs> and then the technical analysis to me is like really bad. Like when people try to break down a yeah. fight, it's like their assumption for why things are happening never makes sense to me from mm-hmm. like a real from like what I know about boxing from getting beat up and being around fighters, it's always kind of like, I don't see it that way. And it's just like, it's, it's like me sitting on my bed quarantined, arguing with my iPhone. How is that helpful? I should just be listening to a movie podcast. <laughs> right. Because it's oh like, my God. these guys are saying like, right. like, uh, well, here's my issue with a lot of boxing writers and podcasters is what it, like let perfect example teofimo lopez he has that a hard fight with a guy that's jabbing with him right asian guy right so then going into the comey fight he sucks they're like oh well he really struggled with this guy and that and it's just like why can't we look at the body of work and then you can say you had a bad performance but sometimes if you're an athlete you're very motivated coming into fights if you had a bad performance. And I just feel like boxing has a lot of unathletic right. people that um, write about it and talk about it. So that the mindset of an athlete exactly. and it bothers me. Exactly. exactly. Okay, fine. Okay, okay. okay. We actually agree. Okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, I just, I was always told, you know, pay attention to the source look at the source look who's telling that's why you know for me I think having the eyesight from being a boxer to being a coach to you know being able to sit there ringside and watch and then also be in the media and I was just for me like I was kind of taken aback from a lot of it and was able to see like the politics and boxing a lot and for me I'm just like this is a bunch of crap like half the people don't even know what the hell they're talking about when it comes to boxing, i.e., like they, you know, haven't even laced on gloves before. Like, how the hell are they writing about something that they don't know? They haven't actually done it themselves. Like, I actually have said this about, I think I tweeted about this. I said, <clears throat> I could smell sushi. I can look at sushi. I can touch sushi. I can actually make sushi. But how the heck can I say that I love sushi if I've never eaten sushi before? You can't, like, you can't possibly say that, like, you love something and, like, can fully, like, know how sushi is, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, are you picking up, like, what I'm putting down? Like, you can't say that you fully know something or do something when you actually haven't even done it yourself. So that's always been, like, my issue, especially when it comes to, you know, people in the media, when it comes down to boxing, it's just, like, what do you even actually know? Like, you haven't even 
laced on gloves before or even hit a bag or hit a mitt. Like, you can't possibly know the depth of it, of you know, of boxing. I don't know. I've always had issues with people that were, you know, in the media or talking about it or even breaking down fights. And it's just like half these people don't even know what the hell they're talking about. But yet we sit there and we take their word as, you know, justice. And it's not. So it's just what it is. But Okay, I'm, now we're going to move to a new segment, which is called Five Questions. And I'm going to give you five questions and you have to tell me if I'm telling the truth or not, okay? Keith Thurman sure. cut his ponytail because <laughs> he was scared it was going to get the coronavirus. Okay, that that's good. That's false. UFC fighter Anthony Smith had someone <laughs> break into his house and he gave him a really good fight. That's true. You're doing true. really good on this one. Um, a YouTuber... <laughs> a YouTuber... <laughs> Uh, physically assaulted boxer Ken girl at a fight, and it was documented. True, that is that is true. true. Okay, the... that was Mayweather's daughter. I have no it? clue what I just saw that video, and I was like, "Why would you do that, bro?" Yeah. Um, the rapper okay. <laughs> X-rated. Recently, from prison, decided that he'd make a pro boxing uh, debut because he was part of a boxing league in prison, and he will have a debut in California this year. I mean, it doesn't sound unlikely now that all these celebrities think that they can box. That is so false. I got you true. on that one. That was that was a tricky. Ooh. I got you with the X rated one for sure. I got you on that one. Yeah, got um, me. <laughs> Final question. I gotta go play a basketball tournament. By we're the way. cutting. Five we're minutes. cutting thing short tonight. <laughs> we're doing a. We're doing a half episode. We gotta do a half episode. What, what's this tournament you're going to, to? We're only gonna do four questions. And what's your competition? No, do your fifth question. I think, I like I think you're unfinished. just gonna this, like the coronavirus has a lot of people unsettled. It'll be an unsettling time for you. Where where we're gonna have unfinished business for next week. I'm not. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god! All right, fine. You know what? The fifth question is: What am I drinking right I'm now? Say, what am say I drinking? Gin. Is it a coffee? Or is it two? Or is it B? <laughs> wow, I was really saying A. Is it two water? Or is it three C oh, coconut fuck. water? Um. The answer is D. None of the of the above. <laughs> I'm drinking coconut water, and pineapple. Got oh. you on that one. Okay, so this basketball. We we'll switch the I game up. <laughs> so okay, my fifth question is P- PBC. No, I already is thinking about signing Earl or Terrence Crawford to a commentating contract. Got you. That was false. No, that was a tricky one. I can't. What? <laughs> I tricked you. Uh, you I'm tricky. Me. I got you on that one. That was a that was a pretty tricky question. But um, are you about to do some two K? Uh, no, we have this air ball, you know, like those arcade basketball okay. things that you can play. We have it downstairs, and so I got a tournament to win. We're going to play horse. So, yeah, my opponent has been practicing. I have not because that's how much okay. faith I have in myself. So you got to tune in to my well, we got We got two wins. last things before you go to your tournament. If someone's having a Go bad ahead. week, what's what's the PYB life advice? Just like they're tuning in on Saturday, they're they're just not feeling good. Whether it's the money, whether it's being alone, maybe like no girl wants to talk to them. Maybe they're just just some. Corona's not helping. What's your advice to them? My advice is go take a nap. <laughs> 
You always so feel he's better. Saying, after like, if you take a nap. a nap, you're gonna come back in the game and you're gonna be better. Yeah, take a nap. Go take a shower. Go take care of yourself. Go like dunk your head underneath cold water and like wake yourself up so you realize that dude, you're like- fucking alive. <laughs> you're alive. You don't got corona. You don't. You know what I mean? There's so many things to be grateful for. Everyone just needs to like wake their ass up. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm taking I'm right? taking strenuous down? notes. <laughs> can you please continue? <laughs> yeah, I'm taking I notes. Taking notes. <laughs> I mean, go go plant something. Go take care of something. Go buy a betta fish. What's I have a betta fish, fish that I watch every single day? Like he's so cool. Really? How, how go get you yourself a betta fish. Explain. They're like the coolest. They're the coolest things ever. I mean, I have, like, this glass jar. I stick the bamboo plants in there, and then I just stick them in there, and he's just so cool. But they know that who they who you are, you know. When you go to feed them, they go to the top. Like, they eat their little food, and then, you know, you just talk to them. They look at you. That's one thing that has to, you know, I feel like it, it's like a, I think it's like a therapy thing for people if they're depressed or something like that would be a good thing for them to get is a fish because it shows that or you know it it teaches them that something else is reliant on them you know so it's like oh I gotta wake up the next day I gotta feed my fish like it gives somebody something to do like go grow a plant I'm growing four different plants right now I'm growing a sunflower, daisies, these forget-me-nots, and these poppies. They cost $1 each at Target. Like, there's so much you can do. Like, there's no excuse to be, you know, upset When we hang out, I might mess around and buy you a plant, like, the seeding. I might get you, that might be my contribution to your happiness. I might get you, uh, but I get to pick it. (laughs) Um, But I'll pick a Look, write, write this down. Have a pillow fight. Have a movie night. Go build a fort. Go be 12 again. Go do some things. Go write a card. I wrote three cards today. I'm, I'm going to mail them out mail. tomorrow. Go read I'm so book. bored some days. I'm people, people voicemail. You're leaving them with. Go to the Dollar Tree. Go buy two for one dollar cards. Go buy some stamps and write people handwritten notes. That's one thing that, you know, it's Better than like a voice well, not or, like, shit a text on me. message. It's something that you actually put down. <laughs> it's something that you actually sat down to write about and put like, you know, your thoughts or like your feelings or like your care down in a piece of paper. You took the time to do that versus it's so easy to do a copy and paste text message or you know what I mean? Like, and that's something that people can sit there if they ever want to feel good about themselves, open up no. a card. Oh. So. Okay, I'm going to take, so is that going to be for the next week, for next week's show, you're going to send me a card, and then I'm going to write you a card next week? I'll I'll send you a card. Are you going to, what's on my card? Are you going to give me, like, a, am I going to get, like, a life update? I feel like that would be kind of cool if, like, you give me, yeah, just, like, how your day was. I feel like that's a real card writer thing to do, like, you tell me. Like, today I was at work, I, f- I fed my fish, things are going pretty good. Today I looked, I looked outside, I saw my neighbor running across the street, and then I saw the neighbor dog go chase a stick. Like, you want to write stuff like I mean, that I feel down? Like there's, a, there's a lot of liberties to a letter <laughs> that. that is written. I feel like you have a lot of things that you can do. I definitely feel like I'm going to come out of quarantine, like, not in shape for sure. Like. I'm going to definitely come out a little chunky monkey. Oh, my gosh. I'm probably going to come out probably about 200 pounds. Going to have to work my way back to 170. But, I mean, I'm not Dang, fat. I'm just kind of like fat buff. Oh, my gosh. Get your butt up. There's 24 hours in a day. I don't just. I just oh don't my god! I really no, don't. I'm not. I was. I wasn't <laughs> even complaining. I was just. <laughs> don't don't come to me if you're ever looking. Don't come to me if you ever look for sympathy. I'm like the worst person. I'm so mean to my friends, but I do it with care. Like they know that I'm just like okay, you know. You know what I mean? Like if you really came to me and you were like crying, of course I would be a different person. But 
I'm like, right now, like, you're breathing. You're alive. You have a roof over your head. There's so much that you can be getting done. I mean, that's that's real. So, you're just giving, you're yeah. giving that gain. You're giving that knowledge, that that vitamin water, that, that 50 cent. So, um, you gave the knowledge to someone that might be having a bad week. And then for you was what's your next clue for what PYB is? Well, my first clue is Michael Jackson. Right? That was not a very good clue. clue I don't remember my first clue. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Wow. This is your third clue. clue. Uh, All right. My third clue is it's a nickname that my sister and her friend used prior to me. So I kind of stole their idea. So you jacked it? So yeah. That's your third clue. <laughs> kind of deboed it? You're like. Yeah, I jacked it. I really did. No, but they jacked, they jacked it for Michael Jackson, so. You'll figure it out after this one. If you haven't figured it out by now, oh my gosh. There's just Man, no hope that's for harsh. society and right now. What's going to happen if you if you lose this uh, shoot-off <laughs> tournament that you're going to play? What happens if you lose? Which I'm definitely not losing. Lose? Definitely not. You've got to take those vibes back. They say if whoever loses has to take a shot each time. Is that the way I'm you're not, doing I'm this? I'm not doing that, but... <laughs> Oh, I thought. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I it's thought you were doing it with like a twelve-year-old. So I was like, okay. Because so I was like, no. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I was like, that, that is okay. So this is like a little Friday, and this is my last question: Why are some girls going on Instagram Live, being a fitness teacher in the middle of the day, and then doing like their own dance party by themselves at night? <laughs> You're asking someone that doesn't. I'm just asking, like, with the like, other parts like, of I society. Just, other... I don't yeah, know. I got like five of them on my IG. You? It's like at noon. That's weird. Like, there's like 20 lives. Do you ever just like write them and just tell them just to stop? Be like, can you but stop? I, I feel I like see there this? must be like <laughs> they must be getting like a positive feedback from somebody. I just don't get it. I mean, who knows? The thing is, is like, I mean, I think the point of social media is like, well, I'm going to be real. Like, good for them. Like, if they're, you know, they're doing these things and people are, you know, one person watches and they're following along and they're able to impact one person, then great. They did their job, you know? I guess it just, it is what it is. But, I mean, do people really have anything else to do in quarantine? I mean, I can give a list of things, but that seems just, just to be what dancing and workout videos. I feel videos like most men, moderately attractive so. women on my IG are now fitness instructors, basically. And then every now and then they'll share in their story that this is their Venmo account, and if you enjoyed the workout, you could definitely donate. I'm like, like pretty much. Shut like, up. I'd say like fifty percent of the hot girls on my IG who weren't trainers by the time this quarantine's over, they're going to be, like, looking to be, like, fitness trainers at, like, gyms. I don't... Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Like, I'm just doing my, like, 100 to 200 push-ups, and I'm going for a four-mile walk, and that's... You just said you weren't working out, and you're planning on gaining weight. That's, like, all I'm doing. I'm just going for four mile walks. I'm doing push ups. <laughs> We're doing no other. I might do a burpee or a squat on like Easter Sunday, but that's it. Like we're that's just funny. We're just okay. And then I'm gonna really let you go after this. How long do you think we got Corona season? What's I have your no feeling? idea. Mm-hmm. How long this is going to last? I think we're going to be in quarantine at least until the end of May. I mean, that For seems sure. about right. Do you think that we're going to go... 
if, oh, go ahead. If we if we get out in like three weeks, <laughs> if we get out, I feel like we're honestly in jail. But if we're out, then I would be shocked. But I think we're gonna do a whole nother month. But I think things are gonna <clears> loosen <throat> up next we'll month. Like I think like more places will be open. Like maybe like like a crate and barrel and a couple of like stores will start to open and they'll just be stricter about how you enter the store and how many people can be in at a time. But I think like next month, like non-essential yeah. places will start to open. It'll just be limiting the people that come in. That's just my guess. Like Ikea will open up, but only 50 people can be in the store at a time. Like that's mm, it. But you, you're, you're getting ready for Friday fun night. I'm just chilling, me and my mom. I'm about to go on deep dive, YouTube dive. With no alcohol, you're about to be shooting hoops and having fun. We're on two different paths right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, it could be fun. Yeah, I mean, make it fun. we'll see how it goes. We'll see how if I even get to go to Southern California this year because... I don't even know when I'm going to, because I'm looking forward to doing a road trip to Mount Rushmore. So the minute, the minute this clears up, yeah, I'm getting in my car and I'm going to go on a road trip to Mount Rushmore because this shit's totally coming back by the time it's my birthday and I'm just going to be traveling for like two months straight. Well, that's definitely on my list as well, too. Start yeah. traveling. I'm going to be traveling with my golf vlog. And so. my golf vlog is going to be legendary. And I got some catchphrases. One of which is, hey, 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 hey. Don't you think know, that's a... What that's like heck? my old man one. And then, like, I'm, if there's ducks, I'm going to buy a loaf of bread. And I'm going to feed the ducks. It'll be, like, during my round. I'm going to go, hey, there's some ducks. Let me go feed them real quick. Don't you think that's a good look? Because I'm. Oh my god. I'm trying to be like an old white person, time. so I'm trying to think like, what do old white people have? Like they feed birds, they they get seas candy. Oh, for sure. Have you ever been to a public park? That's like the that's like the go to for like a white person if you're over fifty five. That is like a. I mean, I got. I've never seen it. I want to see pictures. Yeah, and then, uh, white people definitely like C's candy. Like, that's a for sure white people thing. So I might have to have that C's candy in my bag if I do a good shot. Bust out the C's candy. Good job, Luke. Oh my God. You did really, really good. Reward yourself with a little sweet treat. Wow. Hope my de- I hope my dentist isn't mad that I might get a that's cavity funny. from this good one. But yeah, well, be safe, even though... There's no way you really can't be safe because you're stuck in your house. I'm not stuck in my house. I'm safe in my house. Got to start twisting. You know what? If you're not positive by the next time that we talk, we've got to stop. I'm just, I'm on a, I'm on a, you know what it is? You know why my energy's messed up? It's the third week of quarantine. I'm feeling restless. My energy's all over the place. The vibe. Go for a walk. Go do some push ups. Go hang upside down. Go cry in the corner. Go take a shower. Go read a book. Go to the Dollar Tree and go get some cards. Go write on some cards. What else? Go buy a betta fish. Go watch a movie. I don't think go dudes knit and hit a blanket. blanket. Who cares? Are girls okay. supposed to be doing boxing? No. That's back in the olden days. Guys can knit blankets too. Go. You know what? I, we went on a walk today, and guess what I got? The coolest thing ever. A painted rock. And on the back it says, Marietta Rocks. And then it says on Facebook. So what people do is they paint these rocks. And, like, mine has a, a heart with, like, all these little speckled things. And, um... It's just, like, a cool thing to do. Go paint some rocks, and then, like, you lay them on your, you know, on your, what's it called? On your little trail that you go on your walk, and then put your Twitter name or your Instagram name on the back of it or something that says, like, you rock. 
Make someone else. I might day. I might paint a rock go. and go send you rocks. a rock. I want five I want five I want you should. I want five rocks painted by next week. I want you to write down ten things that you're grateful for. I want okay, you to so send out to you and my two grandma. cards. I want you <laughs> No, I'm serious. <laughs> Your grandma. Go bake something. Okay, Go bake I'm a getting... cake. Let's see. Go knit a blanket. Ask your mother how to knit a blanket or a scarf. Oh my God. What a great opportunity for you to learn something with your mother. That's a a bond. So I'm just soaking up this game. This is a bonding exercise right now. Yeah, there you go. Go paint some rocks. What else? Go count your fingers and toes. Make sure they're all intact. (laughs) Or you can. You can go count the carpet. Like, that will take a long time, you know. By then, a whole week would go by. Go ahead and count the carpet. Oh, man. What else? Go buy a You beta really fish. want me to That's get a beta fish. List. Things to do. I think they're the coolest thing ever. I'll take a picture and show you. My beta fish, his name's Dom. He's pretty cool. He's been with me since I moved from Utah. How so did you did you drive with long. him in like a in like a soda yeah. container or something? Yeah. Like what did you you have a, a soda you drove container? with the Are fish you tank? Mind? No, when you go to when you go to Peco, you get like this little container. It's like a clear container with like a blue lid, and he comes out of that, or he comes in that, and so when I would like actually believe it or not when i go would go to vegas because i didn't want to leave him i didn't know that you can leave betas for like a week on end and they're fine but i used to take him with me to the place (laughs) and i would stay and i would like take him like with me and people thought i was so crazy because i was like well i'm not trying to like come home to a dead fish so i would take him with me and then i found out that you can leave betas for like a week and they're fine really responsible i when i drove back from utah I know, right? See, I actually do care. I have a soft heart. I'm just pretty harsh at times you're because I want people times, to snap out of but it. But you're really, so, really yeah. kind. Go. I think in you're a specific way. You're yeah, giving go me get that a old school game, but I don't huh? feel like I'm that down on myself. I just feel like I'm playing. Like I don't even feel like I'm. Yeah, like I'm not down. Like I'm happy. Are you? I just drank a little tiny bit of cognac. Just for my throat, I warmed it up, kind of on some old head shit, and now I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rest. I'm just, I'm riding it out. I, I'm feeling optimistic. I'm feeling like we got at most, we got like a month and a half left, and then I'll be able to be in the public a little bit. Like things won't be the same, but that's cool, and. You know, just yeah. gotta think of creative things to do. You know, yeah, yeah. Well, it is Good Friday. So this is the so Good Friday episode. It's a good Friday. That's not Could very helpful. Last that was ever. that was kind of a mean spirited. No, it's not. That's it. It actually, I'm sorry. It is helpful. If people think about, like, their life in a way of, like, this could be my last Friday or this could be my last Saturday. This could be my last Sunday. If you always, if you woke up and you had that mindset that this could be the last day on earth, that would be a huge effect on how you spend your day and the, the things that you think about and the things that you talk about and, like, how much you don't want to waste your time doing minuscule things. You know what I mean? Like, if, if you knew that today was your last day, did you do everything that you could say, you know, like, I had a good day today. Like, I could die tomorrow and I could be okay. You know what I mean? Like, people don't think about things like that. I think about that every single day, you know? Like, I wake up Saturday. Okay, great. This could be my last Saturday ever. How am I going to spend it? Am I going to spend it pissed off or mad that we're, quote, unquote, stuck inside? Or, you know, or am I going to be like, oh, I'm going to go for a walk. Or I'm going to read a book today. I'm going to take a nap. Like, if I died tonight, I would be happy. I would be fine. I'll be okay. You know, that's how people I think that they should look at life. <laughs> like this could be your last Friday ever. 
you know, like, this is my last conversation with you, Luki. Great. Like, I knew that we had a great conversation that, you know, I think I had a friend that passed away, actually, was it Thanksgiving night? We found out that night, Thanksgiving night, and I had to think back at the last time I ever talked to him. And I knew that the last conversation I had with him was a good conversation. So I was okay with like, you know, of course you go through like the grieving process, but like I was okay with it because I was just like, we had a great conversation the last time I talked to him, the last time I ever spoke with him. So it's just like, it just makes things easier, you know? Yeah. Do you think about that? Your life every single day, you wake up every single day. This could be your like, last day. Here. I really I started to think it? about that like about a month you know? and a half ago when my cousin took his life. And, like, that day was really intense because it was just, like, a lot of – you feel a lot of different emotions, and I'm not really trying Mm -hmm. to make this about that. But I started to put things into perspective and really try to get everything done. So that's, like, when I have (laughs) ideas, I try to just do it. That's why I'm saying, like, the golf vlog. Like, I want to do a golf vlog. Right. So I'm just going to try to do it. Because I enjoy golf and I have a really nice yeah. camera and my mom's bored. So let's just start from humble beginnings. My mom's willing to go and film. <laughs> right? And then it's like if people enjoy yeah, it. Why like not? My whole time doing boxing stuff, until I met people like you or people that I get along with, most people thought I was the weirdest dude ever. Or they thought I was stupid or say things because like I just, I'm not obsessed with what a lot of people are obsessed about i'm obsessed about living to the highest potential i see for myself i don't hold myself to other people's standards and i don't look at Mm -hmm. social norms like in boxing culture i think the social norms are messed up like i don't think they're anything i need to accept right right because i'd like i think the little bit of humanity when you accept it is gone so it's like i think over right. the past 10 years, I've grown into that attitude because I used to really want people to like me and stuff. But now I've just accepted I am who I am and I'm fine mm-hmm. with living the way I am for the next 30 or 40 years if I hopefully can live that long. But like I'm a person who I'm fine with now. Right. Good. I mean, there's so many people that, you know, you think about they just they care so much about what other people think about them and like they just want to be accepted so much and I honestly think that's a fail (laughs) like on their part I would hate to be like that that's why like I mean for me too like you don't think that I could I could probably be out there and be on tv or you know be I'm pretty positive I could do that if I were to apply myself but there's also parts of me that I would have to change and I'm not willing to do that like I'm not willing to be a fake version just to get to the top you know and I don't or whatever people consider the top I don't care to do any of that so I'm just like yeah let me just sit back here and like I enjoy boxing I love boxing so I'm gonna you know keep doing what I enjoy doing and if that keeps me out of the limelight so what it is what it is like I'm not like other people just like you said you know I'm not like everybody else everyone thinks I'm weird or whatever I agree with that too but I think the best people are the weirdest ones so or I think everybody else is weird. I think I'm pretty normal. <laughs> so um, I don't know. That's just my outlook on life. But I think that's great that you have that mindset. It takes a long time for people to think that way to kind of get out of their ego and get out of their head. But I think it's the greatest like, freedom how many, to be that how way. How many so. boxing people do you see like oh, their media members that it's like they'll either try to like get mad at fans because like they want to prove they know more than them. Or how many people can't make a joke about themselves because they're so insecure and they don't want to laugh at themselves. Because, And it's like, to me, that's so lame. Mm-hmm. It's like, bro, like, boxing is yeah. just something I love. I don't need to be smarter than anyone or dumber mm-hmm. than anyone. It's just something I love. And I can explain what I love about it. And if someone knows more, then I'll listen. And if it's not entertaining, I won't. That's it. Right. That's it. That's it. That's is it. that a successful? Did we there salvage? Did we sell? I feel like the podcast almost broke up and then we just came back. We finished super strong. I feel like we came back with that super solid Did it? energy. 
I get very like I don't know. I get very weird. So I think I that we, go up and we'd down. be the powerhouse boxing commentating. Um, you be the calm and nice one. I'll just I be think the mean, that, kind I one. I think that would be a power, a <laughs> powerful possible. commentating crew. The Lukey and PYB calling like the local club show fights on Facebook Live. Make I got to get happen. a little bit more powerful. Let me get like a tiny bit that more powerful. Sense. Just a little bit. I'm almost powerful enough, but I just need to get a tiny bit more powerful. <laughs> well, you get know what one of my, my goals is? And this is Sounds probably going to sound funny to a lot of people. But my my goals is to commentate a Thompson boxing show. I feel like that's a very obtainable goal. But oh. that's a goal I have. Dougie does Dougie it. Sinker Steve Kim's does done it. Um, he... My friend Michael Montero did one. But it's like, I feel like that's a very obtainable goal. Rich Moretta did one. So that's like, I agree. well, I mean, you have to kind of be asked by the do company. It? You don't just go, hey, guys, like, you know, I, I know how to talk. And I think I know I'm good at boxing. I know you have, like, when full I... staff. I think the way I'd be able to do it would be, like, if I'm a late replacement. Like, someone has, like, emergency would you jump on a Southwest? I'd say, sure. Okay. Do your research. Don't mess up. I mean, why don't you do this? Make it this approach. Hey, who hires the people to do the Facebook lives? Oh, so-and-so does it. Great. Can I go talk to them? Great. Hey, if you ever have an well, opening, this and that, here's my card. Here's my number. I would love to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm Lukey. I've done podcasts before. I've done this before. Like, just give them your resume or email. No, well, I, I don't like, think hey, I don't want. I don't think I want to. There you go. I don't think I want to say that Boom, last part. Bang. But, um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna do it that way. Do what? Do it for free? If you're not willing to do something for free, then you're not willing to do it at all. You should have to be able to do something for free. When I first started writing, I did it for free. And then I started getting paid for it. Why? Because I had a passion for it. That means you don't actually really want to do it. Well, I, you have to be willing to do it for free first. Well, I'm just saying. Do it for free. Offer your. I know for some free. people. And see what they say. And then you have. I'm just more saying. Power I know some turn. people Boom. associate with them, and they definitely Win. know me very well. And if something were to arise, I think I'd be on a list of people to call. So I'm just putting that out there in the air, but I just don't want to put that energy out there that I do it for free because I've put a lot of time into perfecting who I am and not that I'd need a ton of money, but I'd have to jump on one of those airplanes. I'd have to eat food, you know, uh, the suit. I Well, make, make them pay you per diem. Make him pay well, for your flight, bla- make him pay my, for you your gotta, stay, but you do it for free. But my black and blue Batman That's Rolex you doesn't. Get in. That they, the Rolex dealer said didn't say, um, um, didn't give me that for free though. I don't know what that means. So if Thompson Boxing out there wants to hire me, I'll do it for so free. P- I'll use my own gas. PYB <laughs> will do it for free. You take your own job. I'll use my own gas. I'll pay for my part. PYB Terrence Layal, hit me up on Instagram, Twitter. Just say PYB. She'll I'll do it for free. free. Thompson Boxing. I'll do it. Trust me. For a fee, <laughs> but it's a negotiable fee. We gotta just hit within a range. And hey, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah. So I'll do it for that, and I may be bringing the Tom Ford suit out for that one. The Tom Ford suit may come out for that event, and I'm. I'll wear lackeys and stress. It'll still be okay. style. Why and I might, I might also have to taper my beard. <laughs> oh, I might have good. to get the beard tapered. I have a beard. You have Why beard? is that funny That's to funny. have a beard? It's a quarantine. That's, funny. That's like. Did your mom like, have a beard? What do you too? think? <laughs> I don't know. I gotta go because I gotta win this competition right now. It's yeah, been man. Seven minutes right, well, almost. I, I, I would say I wish you luck, but I believe you're gonna do okay. And if you don't, you're just gonna get drunk. So. No. Oh my God. All right. I hope you had your list down. Your rocks. Your letters. Um. Tell Thompson Boxing that you'll do podcast for free. What else? 
And don't forget your clues okay, for so this YB. Is, this is the Good for? Friday successful episode. I feel like the vibes were very in check. I wish you luck on your <laughs> athletic endeavors. Okay. Thank you. For more great shows, please go to iTunes or wherever podcasts are found and leave us a review.